What's up guys, The Flying Tech here, and today we're going to be checking out the QXC90 Pro by E. Shin. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, here's everything that comes in the kit. You get the quad itself, a 3.7 volt 600 mAh battery, an extra set of props, a carbon fiber prop puller, a USB charging cable, and a set of instructions. All right, the quad itself, not too heavy, but not light at all. It weighs 51 grams with the battery. Definitely nice size, but as you can see, it has a FPV camera built right in here. The camera is a 700 TV line HD CMOS quarter inch NTSC camera with a built-in 5.825 milliwatt VTX with 48 channels. This actually comes right off. You can detach the top if you need to get to the bottom here. As you can see right here, it has an alarm beeper built right in. This does come with Betaflight with a built-in OSD. The motors are 8520 Black Edition brushed motors. The battery is basically your stock SEMA X5C battery. I was actually very happy to see this uh, because I have so many other batteries from my X5C that are just like it that I was able to use in this model. So this is great. Charge time on this guy, you're looking at about 35 minutes, maybe a little more, but you will get about five or so minutes of runtime out of it, which is pretty good. Now this is the bind and fly model, which means it doesn't come with a TX, so you have to provide your own TX. This particular model is for the FlySky i6. With this particular model, you wanna make sure that AFHDS 2A mode is switched on. The instructions are pretty good on telling you exactly what to do, but I'll show you really quick. You're gonna press in these two trim buttons while pressing up on the power button. Press OK. And there you go, we're in the menu. Now we're gonna go ahead and press OK again. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to RX Setup. Under RX Setup, you'll have the AHFDS 2A. Just click OK. And then you're gonna turn it on. Then you'll hit OK and you back out. To bind the quad, you're gonna press and hold this little button right here while plugging in the quad, and you're gonna put the TX into bind mode and it should connect. The way to put this into bind mode, very simple, hold down the bind button while turning on the transmitter, and there you go, she's in bind mode. All right guys, we've got it connected to beta flight now. And then we're gonna calibrate the accelerometer. Wait for it to level out, there you go. All right, let's go on to ports. Under ports, we have USB VCP and UART3, which are enabled. Under configuration, you've got brushed motors, you've got motor stop, everything else is pretty much stock. I did change the craft name. It is a serial based receiver, iBus, this is for the i6. These are the only items I have ticked off here. Battery and power, everything is gonna be stock. All right, under PID tuning, I did change these settings here. I turned them up to 800, as well as this to two. Onto mods, I just have arm, angle, and air mode. You may wanna change this to suit your needs. Under OSD, this is how I have mine set up. You may wanna set up yours a little differently. That's completely up to you. All right, let's disconnect and let's go flying. All right, guys, we're going to take off in stable mode here. Oh, it's very stable. Very stable. Let's try some... Oh, look at that. Look at the yaw rate on this guy. All right, guys, we're going to try a punch out now. You ready? Let's, let's see how she punches it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a nice little punch she's got on her. Look at those funnels. Oh, wow. Super limber. Let's do another punch out, ready? Wow. All right, let's take her for an FPV flight. 